Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and a very warm welcome to this ACDC Ultimate 2025 review. So what is ACDC Ultimate? Well, ACDC Ultimate is an all-in-one photo management and editing studio for Windows PCs. Broadly speaking, we can break ACDC Ultimate down into three separate components. The first of which being a face recognition powered photo management system with AI keyword tagging. The second, a Lightroom style develop module. And third and final, a sort of Photoshop light style layer based photo editor. So ACDC Ultimate costs you a one-time payment of 149 US dollars for a lifetime license. The Ultimate Pack costs a little bit more at $209, but for which you receive your copy of ACDC Ultimate, plus a number of other software applications such as ACDC's Gemstone layer-based photo editing application and Luxia Pro, their photo editing studio. Alternatively, if you are looking to avoid an upfront payment you can subscribe to ACDC365. Doing so will give you a copy of ACDC Ultimate 2025 along with Luxia Pro, Gemstone and a few other applications plus free upgrades and cloud storage. Now if you would like to try ACDC Ultimate you can and in the description below there is a link to your free ACDC Ultimate trial. So what does ACDC Ultimate 2025 do? Well, let's start with the basics of photo management. Now, as you might expect, you can rate your images, you can tag them with various different keywords and drag and drop your photos into many different collections and albums. With ACDC Ultimate's map view, you can geotag your images. By doing so, you will be able to browse your images by where they were taken. And thanks to ACDC Ultimate's object recognition technology, AI keywords will evaluate your photos and suggest keywords it thinks might suit your image. So for example, it might suggest keywords such as building, architecture, bees, mammals, and so forth. Best of all, we can actually use ACDC's search feature to look for these images. So despite the fact you have never tagged your images manually yourself, you can type in a term such as bird and ACDC Ultimate will retrieve all images in your library featuring a bird. Furthermore, I have personally found ACDC's AI keyword to be pretty reliable. And of course, if you prefer, you can turn this feature off entirely. Then there is ACDC Ultimate's face recognition technology. Now, when you fire ACDC Ultimate for the first time, it will basically detect the faces and sort of imply that you should tag that face with a name. After which ACDC can be set to crawl your entire photo library and it will apply that name to similar faces it finds. With the people tab, it is extremely easy to see what names have been tagged to who, easy to add amendments, and of course, easy to sort of remove faces entirely. Furthermore, you can leave face recognition in its autonomous mode, basically just running in the background without you, or you can switch off that feature and simply run it on a photo by photo basis as you QA your images. Finally, we have ACDC365. Now with this, you can basically copy your locally stored photos to the cloud and then access those images via any common web browser. Not only does this offer you a remote way to access your images, but it's also a fantastic way to share your photos with family, friends, and clients. So having covered photo management, let's talk about photo editing. And to that end, ACDC has not just one, but two separate photo editing tools. Now ACDC's develop tab is one of my all time favorites. It's extremely fast, well responsive, and reacts to my adjustments in real time. We can also save the sums of our edit as global presets, but more than that, we can actually save individual adjustments as presets. But what I really like about ACDC's develop tab is that many of the adjustments are targeted adjustments. So instead of sort of dragging a slider, we can actually make changes such as color saturation, hue, tone curves, light adjustments by interacting directly 
directly with the image itself. Not only does this offer greater precision to the more experienced user, but it's also much more friendly to the beginner. ACDC's Develop tab also features numerous masking options for doing local adjustments. So for example, we can use the AI masking to immediately mask our photo's background, subject, sky, or a specified object within that photo. We can also mask parts of our image based on their luminance, which is to say brightness or the color range of the pixels we're trying to select. And failing that, you can always apply your masks manually using one of the many brushes provided. So moving on to the edit tab. Now the edit tab differs from the develop tab because it is a layer based photo editor. So this means instead of sort of applying your adjustments directly to the image, we can contain each of our adjustments such as such saturation changes, tone curves, white balance effects, and so on, to individual layers. We can then create multiple layers, stack and blend them to create composite effects not possible in non-layer based applications such as the develop tab or indeed applications such as Lightroom. Moreover, ACDC has shape and text layers. This means we can incorporate text and graphics with our images making ACDC Ultimate a fine option for a little bit of graphic design. Furthermore, the Edit tab has a few unique features you will not find in the Develop tab. The first and most impressive of these is the Face Edit option. Now, as the name suggests, Face Edit is a portrait enhancement tool, but it is also one of the best portrait enhancement tools that I've used to date. Not only can you smooth skin and remove blemishes, whiten eyes and brighten teeth and so forth, but we can even turn a frown into smile and also redirect our subject's wandering gaze back to the camera. Moreover, this edit is incredibly fast and responds to adjustments in real time. In other words, there isn't the same sort of latency that undermines some of its rivals. ACDC's edit mode also has a sky replacement tool. Now, unfortunately, the sky replacement tool doesn't quite match the standards seen in the face edit tool. While it can swap one sky for another easily enough, it does a rather bad job in relighting your existing scene to match the new sky, thus the overall result looks rather fake. However, the Edit Tab's background removal tool is surprisingly effective and requires no more of you than simply one click. Now, new to ACDC Ultimate 2025 is AI Super Resolution. Now, AI Super Resolution is ACDC's image upscaler, which basically uses AI to insert new detail into your image as it is enlarged. Now I have actually created a separate video sort of testing AI super resolution against its peers and overall I consider it a mid-tier upscaler, which is to say it's actually pretty good and at least on par with Lightroom's own super resolution. Finally, ACDC Ultimate has a rather average HDR merge tool, a focus stacker and a panoramic stitching tool. So what is missing in ACDC Ultimate? Well, the main thing is missing is AI noise reduction. Now, this isn't the end of the world stuff, given that you can mainly supplement ACDC with a standalone AI noise reduction tool, such as Unwants No Noise AI or DxO Pure Raw. That being said, having to bounce between different applications is never convenient, especially given that applications such as DxO Photo Lab, On One Photo Raw, and indeed like Room all have their own AI noise reduction built in. Now that is not to say that ACDC Ultimate does not have noise reduction, it does, it just simply leans on traditional noise reduction technologies and is far inferior as a result. So what is ACDC Ultimate like to use? Well, that's kind of a two-tiered story. So for beginners new to photo editing, or at least new to ACDC, might find ACDC Ultimate sort of busy interface rather intimidating at first. Specifically, there's an awful lot going on. Furthermore, ACDC Ultimate's implementation of presets is somewhat undernourished. While indeed it does come with stock presets, these tend to be quite buried and it's difficult to determine what preset does what as there's no real visual preview. Furthermore, if you are bouncing between one preset to another trying to figure out which suits your image best, the effect of the next preset basically goes on top of the last. So now you're looking at a composite of two 
different presets. So for example, if your first preset is a black and white one, and then you move to a color, your image will still be black and white because that is what the first preset did. Yeah, in many other ways, ACDC Ultimate is absolutely fantastic to use. Regarding the busy workspace, you can customize it pretty much however you want. We are able to resize each of the windows, lay them out left to right, or even stack them in any order you please. Then there's ACDC Ultimate's generous supply of targeted adjustments, which enables us to apply our effects and adjustments by interacting with the image directly, rather than simply dragging sliders. And the ability to save our individual adjustments as sort of micro presets is a really nice touch. In in terms of performance, ACDC Ultimate flies along. It responds to your adjustments in real time and transitions from one photo to the next are pretty fast. The only exception is when you apply face recognition automatically, in which case a small delay is introduced as you bounce from one photo to the next. Thus, overall, ACDC Ultimate is rather nice to use. However, it does take a little bit of getting used to. So what are the best alternatives to ACDC Ultimate? Well, the first and most obvious is Lightroom. Now, Lightroom is perhaps the most well-rounded photo editing application on the market today. It features fantastic photo management, rather good photo editing, and in terms of its ecosystem, the ability to sort of offload your images to the cloud and then access and edit those images from any web browser or tablet or smart device is pretty much unmatched. Thus, Lightroom's biggest problem is not so much its feature set or capability, but its price. Specifically, Lightroom is subscription only and will cost you at least $9.99 every month for Lightroom and one terabyte of storage. In contrast, ACDC Ultimate is yours forever for a one time payment of $149, making ACDC Ultimate somewhat of a bargain compared to Lightroom. Nonetheless, there is a lot to like about Lightroom, but ACDC Ultimate does much of what Lightroom does. In some cases, does it better and costs considerably less. The next best alternative to ACDC Ultimate is actually ACDC Professional. Now, in fact, many of you would actually be better off with ACDC Professional because it contains exactly the same photo management features. So we still get our face recognition and AI keyword tagging. We also get ACDC's Ultimate Develop tab with all of its micro presets and AI masking options. However, ACDC's Professional's edit tab is no longer layer based, which means every adjustment you apply to your image is effectively burnt in, making it rather hopeless option for graphic design. Nor do we get the fantastic face edit feature or the rather average sky replacement tool. However, ACDC Ultimate costs just $99 compared to $150 for Ultimate, thus making ACDC professional perhaps better value overall. Then finally, we have On One Photo Raw. Now, unlike ACDC Ultimate, On One Photo Raw does not have face recognition powered photo management. However, when it comes to photo editing, On One Photo Raw is one of the most capable photo editing applications on the market today. Not only can we do simple things like boosting exposure, but we can also apply many local adjustments with those local adjustments self-contained within their own layers, which we can then combine and blend. And we've also got the effects layer technology. And again, those effect layers are contained within their own layer, enabling us to sort of create compound effects, simply not possible in a non-layer based photo editing application. Moreover, On One Photo Raw has On One No Noise AI, one of the best AI noise reduction tools that I have tested. Therefore, if you prioritize a photo management, I recommend you go with ACDC Ultimate. But if you prioritize photo editing, on one photo raw is the way to go. So to conclude, is ACDC Ultimate any good? Well, yes, it is. With its outstanding face recognition powered photo management, excellent develop tool and layer based edit tab, it is one of the strongest Lightroom alternatives there is. In fact, in many ways, ACDC Ultimate is superior to Lightroom despite costing far, far less. Now, of course, ACDC Ultimate is not perfect. It still lacks AI noise reduction technology. It could go a little easier on beginners and its preset implementation feels a little bit undernourished. Nonetheless, it does many of the things that Lightroom does 
quite a lot more and cost considerably less. And for that reason, ACDC Ultimate is well worth a go. Now, at this point, I would like to tell you that I am indeed an ACDC affiliate. However, I am also an affiliate for DxO, Adobe, and many, many more. But perhaps that means you do not want to take my word for any of this, and fortunately, you do not have to, because in the description below, there is a link to your free ACDC Ultimate Trial. I hope you found this review interesting. My name's Richard from Silent Peak. I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye.